There is an absolutely massive, massive sunspot on the sun. There's a geomagnetic storm coming from this sunspot, and it's going to come to the Earth tonight, May the 10th. And so there should be a beautiful aurora display here at Dark Skies, Montana, tonight, May 10th, 2024. This sunspot is massive. I actually looked at it with binoculars, and I even put this filter up and looked at it with my naked eye and I could see the naked eye sunspot it's so massive woohoo aurora tonight US government issued its first severe geomagnetic storm watch in 20 years a G4 storm watch that's the second highest there are Five coronal mass ejections headed towards Earth. They're wider than the Earth itself. And today, NOAA upgraded it to a G5, which is the highest it gets. So get outside and look north for a massive, massive coronal mass ejection that should put on a beautiful auroral display tonight. I hope I'm not just being hyperbolic, but the government says that this geomagnetic storm could impact communications, satellite, GPS, and even the power grid. This could be a Carrington event. It's so massive. I can't wait. I'm sorry, let me clarify. I'm not saying I can't wait for communications to be disrupted. I hope they're not. I'm saying I can't wait for a spectacular Aurora Borealis display right here in Montana. Where should I go? It is dark here at the house, but the view to the north is not very interesting. Just some Douglas fir trees. Well, I should head north. <laughs> Come on, Aurora, and look at this. Can you believe that two days ago it snowed two feet and there were 25 mile per hour winds? But look at it. It's clear tonight. Come on, Aurora. This is in real time. This is not a time lapse. This is incredible. I've never seen anything like it. This is in real time. This is not a time lapse. Incredible. It's almost scary. Oh my god, I wonder if it's safe. It could be a Carrington event. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I think I'm gonna cry. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I so beautiful. <laughs>
had planned to film a Deep Sky Challenge episode tonight, <laughs> and I even started, but I never really thought about it because I haven't seen that many aurorae, but I guess aurorae make for bad transparency because it's not dark out here. You can't stargaze in any way. Why would you look at this? It's phenomenal. I can't describe it. I've never seen anything like it. I hope you got to see it too. My sister said they could see it as far south as Raleigh in North Carolina. So I hope you got outside and got to see this beautiful aurora display. 360 degree aurora, all sky, purple and green and curtains and swirls and I can't describe it. So that's it for now. I'll see y'all soon. Until then, get outside and enjoy the night sky. Dark skies forever. Sula, signing off.